Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a full face Friday using Hourglass products. I did just pick up the new Ambient Infinity Powder, so we are going to be playing with the Infinity Powder today as well as a bunch of my other favorites from Hourglass. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, how this powder is working on my more mature skin, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're playing with one of my favorite brands that I have not used in a long time, but I, but I did go ahead and pick up the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. So I'm gonna be doing a full face Friday using all Hourglass products, and I pulled out some oldies but goodies. So you guys, I really do love this brand. I pretty much have something from each category. And in some categories, I have like pretty much the entire line. So we're gonna start with foundation. And I was debating between using my Illusion. These are the Hyaluronic Tint. You guys, I love these and I've gone through many tubes. But I also used to be just absolutely obsessed with the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And I wanted to pull out and see if I still loved it as much as I did in the past. I am going to start with a little bit of their Priming Base Serum. And this one is the number 28. And I've had several of these deluxe samples and I always really enjoyed this. So with the stick foundation, you do not necessarily have to use a primer, but if you have dry skin, you may like to smooth it out. So this guy is, so this is the more hydrating one. They have the uh, mineral veil that everybody loves, loves, loves. Um, but since my skin is a little bit more on the dry side, I thought we would go ahead and use this number 28, which is more hydrating. So as you can see, you guys, it's going to give me a nice little glow to my skin and then we'll go in with the stick foundation now this is one that you can build up to high coverage I do have to say I love hourglass brushes I have several of them and I do love this foundation brush that goes with the vanish foundation now I have this in two different colors today I pulled out light beige and that's what I was matched to in the summer. So we'll see if this one works for me. And again, you just kind of want to do a little bit to start. And then we can always add more. But this is quite pigmented. So I'm just going to come through and use this buffing brush. Then for concealer, I actually do have their kind of stick concealer here, which is fantastic. This is sort of like a dupe for Clay de Peau, creamy, uh, fabulous, and I've really enjoyed this. So like that. But then they came out with the new Hourglass Vanish Concealer, which I love, love, love. So we're going to use the newer one today, but I did want to mention this is fantastic. It's going to give you a lot of coverage, very similar to Clay de Peau at a cheaper price. I'm actually in the shade tan here. This is the color because I use this generally kind of almost like foundation, like I could put a little bit here around my nose and stuff and then I would buff this in and it would just be fantastic so this is a little bit more towards my skin color versus an actual kind of lighter kind of concealer but love that so I'm just gonna buff that guy in and then I do want to mention that I also own the veil 
retouching fluid and you guys this stuff is amazing too it doesn't have a ton of coverage uh, this was kind of marketed as like a little touch-up um, it's very hydrating has hyaluronic acid in it and I really enjoy this just as underneath my eyes for kind of a lighter coverage but today we're gonna go with more full coverage which is the hourglass vanish and I have this in the shade silk so we're just gonna go and this one's lighter. I'm going to put that in my little dark zones. And then I will put a touch down here. A little bit on my forehead. A little bit on the chin. It's lighter, so we'll brighten up the face just a bit. Beauty. I'm going to go ahead and use a damp sponge to kind of push that into the skin. Now this has a really nice kind of light consistency, but it provides a lot of coverage. So I've been enjoying that one. Just taking whatever's excess and I'm kind of just bringing that up on the cheekbones to lighten up a little bit. There is complexion on using the Vanish Concealer along with that stick foundation. Literally, that was my favorite forever, ever, ever. So kind of fun to pull that out again. I cannot recommend these enough as well, you guys. I've gone through several different tubes and this is the Illusion Skin Tint. This is super for dry skin very hydrating and it looks like I have it in shades ivory and light beige. So I have other videos using Hourglass products and again I can use this in an upcoming video if you would like me to. And for bronzer we're going to use the Diffused Bronze Light. I've had this for a very long time and I swear I still have so much product in here. So that's what I will say, even though they are on the pricier side, they last forever and ever. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bronze up the skin. The skin is all bronzed up. Then we're going to go on to my Hourglass Easy Eye. Basically, I use my bronzer in the crease. And then I use my favorite Scattered Light, and this is in Reflect. So if you guys have watched my channel, I love these little scattered lights. They are just so pretty. And the one I use the most is Reflect, and it's just going to give a beautiful little shimmer on the eye without being over the top. So I am going to, I'm going to dip my Wayne Goss number 17 in the bronzer and we're just going to kind of do a quick little crease here using that bronzer. And I do really like the bronze light shade. Just kind of going in and then I'm sticking it right in that crease area and just kind of windshield wiping back and forth to create a little dimension with my eyes here. Okay, I'm going to take my Sonia G. This is the little pencil pro and I'm just going to run a little bit of this bronzer underneath the eye as well. Then all you have to do is take your little finger here and you're going to stick it in the little reflect, which is such a pretty color here. And then I'm just going to place that on my lid. Super easy, guys. It's just such a pretty color. We'll blend that out in just a minute. 
going to kind of pat that onto the eye, but can you just see reflect literally just really nice little shine on the eyes. Then I'm going to take my favorite eyeliner ever, and I've gone through a million of these hourglass. This is in Ocean Floor. So this is a gel little eyeliner. It is so perfect for getting in precisely by your lash line. I think the only problem is is that you kind of whip through them so quickly um, but I love them so this was kind of my go-to eyeliner and I love ocean floor because it is a really pretty navy so it'll just make my eyes pop. Okay super easy quick eye that took like one two minutes tops. I'm going to go put on mascara, which I love their Film Noir mascara. I have used that for years and years. And that does also include a little bit of a peptide that's going to help nourish those lashes. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to clean up my brows real quick. Then we'll get to the Infinity Powder. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, we've got quick easy eyeballs on and then let's get to this star of the show and that is the Hourglass, the Ambient Infinity Powder. Now, now I wasn't going to buy this because I still love and use my Ambient Lighting Powder Palette and I, you guys, this is just one of my favorites and I still have so much product and I use this a lot. I, but then many of you were asking me about this powder and I was like, it sounds amazing. So, so basically this beautiful powder is a blend of their two best-selling ambient lighting powders swirled with two light catching ambient strobe lighting powders. The ambient lighting infinity powder is truly creme de la creme of finishing powders. It's supposed to mimic the most universally flattering light on your skin. So I was like, I don't think we can pass this guy up. And I already enjoy hourglass powder, so why not? Let's try another powder. So why is this special? It says it's going to conceal imperfections, pores, and wrinkles by manipulating and filtering out harsh light. It's going to enhance skin in any light, including flash photography, and produces a gorgeous lit from within glow to the skin. It's suitable for every skin tone and can be worn day or night. You're just going to dust powder all over your face to set the makeup and create a flawless lit from within complexion. And you guys, this is cruelty free, paraben free, talc free, gluten free, fragrance free, phthalate free, mineral oil free, and vegan. So again, I always love Hourglass because they are a cruelty brand, cruelty free brand and most of their products are vegan as well. So we are going to go ahead and I'm trying to think of the best brush to use. I usually use the ambient lighting powder brush to put on my other powder. So I think I'll use that as well. This has been cleaned and we are just going to kind of do a little circle here. And then I'm going to come up close you guys so you can see. And then we'll see what we think about this. Okay guys, here is the powder here. Giving you a little close up to see and you guys you can see this is providing a nice little lit from within glow but one thing that I notice is it's not looking cakey on my skin whatsoever. Here is a close up of the powder and you guys it's giving a very pretty glow on the skin but I will tell you bring you in closer 
I don't feel like you can see the powder on my skin, if that makes sense. I just feel like it's giving me a little bit of a glow um, and it doesn't look powdery or detecting that I'm wearing any powder on my skin. Now, one thing I've always found is that these do not swatch the best. You actually have to see it on your skin. So here is the powder right on my finger, you guys. But that's the one thing, like even trying out their blushes, if you've ever tried to swatch them in store, it never gives them justice. This is just a really pretty finishing powder. Now I just swatched my palette here and that is what it looks like. And then here is the new infinity. So as you, you can see, this one's got a little bit more warmth to it versus the infinity here is just a little bit more of that lit from within. Um, and the way that I would just wear these powders is just go right down the row. So there is going to be a little bit of a difference and we can do a side by side comparison. But today we are just playing with that powder. So far, I think it's really pretty. I am going to be putting on a little bit of blush from Hourglass and I have one of their palettes and I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this one Euphoric Fusion and we'll put just a little bit of that on, we'll put a little bit of that on my cheeks. We are going to be glowing today. Then to finish off the face, I pulled out my favorite lip glosses from Hourglass. These are so amazing and I still use them all the time. This one, as you can see, we're getting down on that one. I absolutely love Halo. This is just like your perfect little gloss. And I love Cosmic is another color, but I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with the deeper berry shade in Impact. And this is just such a pretty color here. And this is the shade Impact in the Unreal Volumizing Lip Glosses. Such a fun little bright color, super comfortable on the lips, just love. Okay guys, this is the full face of Hourglass products. I feel a little bit glowy. I feel a little bit glam today, but so far I have to tell you this powder looks beautiful on the skin. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but it is giving me this kind of lit from within. Now, if I was, if you saw me in person though, I don't think you're going to be like, oh my gosh, she's wearing loads of makeup. I think you would just feel like it looks like skin. So, so, so far I'm glad I gave this a little try. I want to give a little shout out to Donna. Donna was like, I think you need to pick this up. So glad that I did. And also so glad that I pulled out all of my little favorites from Hourglass because I've been neglecting that brand and it truly is one of my favorites. So. The difference with Hourglass is that they don't do tons of launches all the time. So I think that they kind of get lost in the shuffle with all the newness coming at us. But again, this has been a long time favorite. I have tons of their Hourglass products. I love their little face palettes. I ended up pulling out one last thing because I love this little guy. If you guys can see, it's so well loved, um, but it's been out of stock forever. It is the Alum Sheer Color Trio. If that comes back in stock, you guys, I highly, highly recommend it. These are all cream products, just gorgeous. But anyhow, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I will be back with another video soon, and I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend.